everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, thanks for joining and if you're returning, welcome back! So today's video is an exciting one actually, it's going to be a lot of what I bought in February so it's going to be like a Disney February haul. So I've done a Disney store haul just from the Disney store for uh, February and now this is going to be everything else I got in February so it's going to be from like Primark and different little shops and also two of my friends went to Walt Disney World in January and February and they brought me back a few little bits as well so it's going to be stuff from the parks too which is exciting I always love seeing what people get in the parks so to start off I will let you know what I'm wearing we've got obviously classic Minnie Mouse sparkly ears from wherever you want to get them from Walt Disney World or Disneyland Paris I've got mine in Walt Disney World and then this cute jumper which has a mini bow on it and it's super sparkly and this jumper is from Disneyland Paris. I got this November 2016, I think, when I went in November. So yeah, that's from Disneyland Paris. So I think I'm going to start with Primark first. First up from Primark is something that I actually wanted to wear for this video, but I wanted to show you it, so I didn't wear it, but I absolutely love it. And it is this t-shirt. It's a stripy uh, t-shirt, just a basic tee but it has a mini on it with a polka dot bow, a bit like my jumper, with a little mini poking over the top with gold ears on. I will show you this up close. Now this is a really simplistic design, but I absolutely loved it, and I saw it in store and I had to pick it up straight away. This is eight pound, I think. Yep, yeah, it's eight pound. And the tag is also the mini, which is on the shirt too. And I got this in a size eight. I cannot wait to wear this. Gonna take this to Walt Disney World with me as well. Next up is another t-shirt from the Disney range at Primark and it is this pink Minnie Mouse one. So it says 1928 Minnie Mouse original and you've got a cute pink mini there. I got this in a size 10 and this is a funny story because I was in the Marble Arch Primark and I was going to one of my jobs and I was running through and I saw it and I was like I've not seen that anywhere else so I couldn't find a size 8 so I just picked up a 10 and just ran and I just ran with it and I haven't tried it on but I'm sure it will be fine and this one was this one was only £4 as well guys like that's such a steal and the tag is also the mini which is on the shirt as well so yeah, that's a super cute pink one that I'm going to wear in Walt Disney World with my cute pink ears so I can do like a cute pink Disney bound. Now that is actually it for clothes at Primark. I didn't get any other clothes this month, which is mental, but I did get the most amazing stuff they brought out so far. Like, I am obsessed. I will show you. So I was freaking out when I saw this on someone's Instagram and also when Primark posted it on their Instagram and they showed the whole range, I was absolutely dying so this is what it is the Alice in Wonderland purse and it is a drink me bottle and they bought out a whole range of Alice in Wonderland themed purses and I can't even get over how cute I'll show you up close so the detailing on this purse is really good it has the little tag that says drink me on it the top's glittery and then Alice's hair is glittery and you've got glitter silver all around the outside. And it's just a little purse and it just opens up at the back like that. And I picked that one up in the Marble Arch store as well as the rabbit. I picked him up at the same time. He has a cute little fluffy tail and he looks like this. He's got a cute glittery nose as well and he's just like a coin purse on the back i've taken the tags off of both of these but i think they are five pound each i think the whole range was five pound each i then went back to the marble arch store a week later to pick up these two. <gasps> oh my god i'm freaking out they're so flipping cute so i got the hair in the hat and he's just a little bit like the chip purse he just opens at the top and there's your purse. And he was also £5, I think. I think they're all £5. And the next one I picked up was the Cheshire Cat. His little zipper is his tail. And he's also put a, a coin purse at the back as well. And you can hold on to him by the strap. Also has the glittery nose as well. So I was absolutely dying when I saw this range. And I had to go grab it. I'm so, so glad I got it. I know a lot of people can't get them in their stores. I think only the big stores have got them at the minute. 
the marble art store had only these left when i went in i picked up the last hair and they didn't have the drink me potion or the white rabbit either they had actually sold out I did a giveaway over on my Instagram. I don't know if you follow me on there. If you don't, it is at Disney Gemma D and you should go follow me. But I did a giveaway of one of the Alice purses. So I picked one of these up to give away to someone as well. The next thing from Primark is these amazing Disney themed nails that you can just stick on with adhesive and just take off again. So these were all three pound each and this is the villain's nails and you've got the evil queen, the evil uh, apple on there and just other similar styles for the evil queen and they're black white and red next up from the range we've got the 101 dalmatians you've got a couple of dalmatians on there black and red nails and then the polka dot nails for the spots of the dalmatians they also did a mini range but not your classic mini colors it's baby pink and white so you've got your baby pink polka dot nails one black one pink one with glitter on and then you've got three with little pink bows which is really cute i'll show you those and lastly the range that they bought out from the primark nails was the little mermaid nails i've actually opened these so one of these is actually not sitting right in the box but i love these these are all like aqu aqua marine color they've got glitter on them little shells and i'll show you those Hopefully you could see all of those closely. If not, I will put a picture up on my Instagram for you. These were all £3 each. They come with 24 uh, nails in them. But the annoying and weird thing is that they don't have any adhesive in there. So if you're going to get these, then you're going to need to go buy adhesive separately so that you can actually use them. I think I'll use these maybe when I go to some of the parks. But I always find that when I wear them, I literally can't pick things up. I just think they're just so cute, especially the villain one and the Dalmatian ones. I think that'd be so good for like Halloween in the parks as well. Lastly, I got this from Primark in the London store. And it is a London City Disney keychain. It says London City M90 and you've got a Mickey on there as well. And it just says my happy place. And that was £2 and I got this one in the Marble Arch store. The next thing I ordered in February was actually from a small Disney business, which is on Etsy. I found out about her through Instagram and I absolutely love her brooches. She does brooches, necklaces, all those sorts of things and I asked for a custom brooch I've seen a few people had them and I really wanted to get my hands on one and I spoke to her and we worked together on the color that I wanted and the color that would work for the style that I wanted so the company is twinkle sprinkles and if you have Instagram you probably would have heard of them if not you need to go check her out her stuff is unreal I went for the custom mini brooch and the colours I went for were these. I went for the baby pink on the Mickey head and I went for a silver bow because I absolutely love baby pink. I just thought silver would be a little bit different. And then I got my Instagram handle put on there as well to customise it. And I think that is such a great idea. I actually got this for Walt Disney World when I'm walking around the park so I can have it like attached to my bag or attached to my outfit. And I can literally just point out my Disney Instagram. And I'm sure people in America would absolutely love these brooches. So I'm so excited to take it there, take pictures and to spread twinkle sprinkle some more. I will show you up close exactly what it looks like. I should also put in a mini smaller version of it as well. If you don't already follow her, like I said, go check her out. It is at twinkle.sprinkles on Instagram. One more thing that was hiding from Primark, which I got in the Marvel Arch store, is this amazing Disney watch. And it's got a gold Mickey shape for the actual watch with a black leather strap. And it's actually genuine leather, it says, so that's pretty cool. I've not actually used it yet. I just took it out of the box. The box was actually so nice that it came in. It came in a nice white box and you could keep the box, but I just didn't have any room for it. And this was £10. It looks super cute on. I can't wait to wear this in the parks. I've only actually seen this watch in the Marble Arch store. I haven't seen it in my local and a few other primates that I visited. This was actually from the Marble Arch store in London. Okay, so my camera just ran out of battery, so I've had to charge it real quick so I can finish the end of this video. And the last stuff I'm going to show you is actually from Walt Disney World itself. Myself. two of my friends were there over the january and february of this year and they picked me up a few things 
So one of my friends, I actually asked to pick me up a few certain bits that I wanted and she brought me back more than I actually thought she was going to bring back. I was absolutely surprised and so, so grateful. So I will share those things with you now. So first up is a keychain, which is actually really on my keys and it is a G obviously for Gemma, but I haven't seen these before, so they must be new. But inside, I absolutely freaked out when I actually saw it in the day. Like, she gave it me in the car and it was dark. And look what's inside. It's little Mickey heads in, like, pale pink and blue colours with yellow. <gasps> My favourite. Absolutely loved it. I so loved that because I didn't see that they were Mickey inside. When I got home, I was like, oh, my God, this is flipping cool. I just love stuff like this. I don't know how much this was because she bought me it, but I think it had the red tag on it. But don't quote me on that, I can't remember. I then also asked her to pick me up some blind boxes of pins. I didn't really mind which one she picked me up. So she picked me up these two. One which is Disney Streets and Disney Park. And the next was Disney Princesses Mystery Collection. I already opened these on my Instagram story, but I'll show you which ones you can get and I'll show you which ones I actually got. So you can get all of those on the back there. I mean, I kind of wanted Belle, but I wasn't too bothered. But these are the ones I actually got. So I got Tiana, Princess Tiana. And it says Dream on the pin. And I also got Cinderella as well, which says Wish. I probably will trade the Tiana one when I go to Walt Disney World because I'm not a massive fan of that film. But I don't mind the Cinderella one, that's okay. And the Disney Streets, these are the characters that you could get. And the ones I got were... So Daisy Lane and Dale Boulevard. She also picked me up a blind bag. It, it was just a random bag. There was no signage on it at all. It was just a random mystery pin. The pin I got in that was a Siamese Cats from Lady and the Tramp. And it looks like this. So I was pretty happy with all those pins. I didn't expect her to get me so many. So, so I absolutely love her for doing that. I think she's so thoughtful and what a great friend. She also picked me up this magnet from Walt Disney World. It is a mini magnet and it's a bit like a 3D effect. This is the red colour, however much that is. And it looks like this. And lastly, but not least, she picked me up one of these Millennial Pink Magic Bands. And these came out earlier this year. Everyone went mental for the colour. I was like, I need one. Please, can you pick me up one? I'll pay you. And she was like, I'm just going to get you it, girl. Like, don't even have to pay me. So I'm super happy about this. And again, I actually don't know how much this was. There's no price on it. So yeah, I'm not actually sure how much this one was. But I absolutely love this baby pink. I absolutely love the millennial pink. That all the baby pinks coming out. That is my favourite colour. So I think this looks super cute in the park. And I can't wait to wear it. So my other friend was at the airport because she went on a cruise. She picked me up these Mickey lollies. I've actually already had one. It was great and it was amazing. And I just wanted some Mickey swell lollies. They've just got Mickey on them. Can't actually remember what flavours these are, but they're all great. Get anything that's from Disney World, it tastes amazing. And also she picked me up this family size Candy Goofy Co. Uh, character gummies. And they are actually shaped like the characters inside. And I've never had these before. So I go to Walt Disney World and I really kind of pick up the same thing. So I'm quite excited to try these. So thank you, Rachel, for picking these up. And thank you, Roseanne, for picking that stuff up for me. You are the best. Right, guys, so that comes to the end of our February haul video. And just in time, because my battery is about to die again, I need to get another battery. As always, if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. I will reply to you if you have any questions about the merch. Um, about prices or anything like that or where to get things and just leave a comment and I'll reply if you don't follow me on Instagram give me a follow it is at Disney Jemmy D and it's at Disney Jemmy D anywhere so if you have Twitter then give me a follow on there as well so if you like this video guys then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll be back soon with more videos bye